All right, guys, Punisher here, and I wanted to show you a new feature in OBS. So this has been out the last couple months, uh, but I haven't really used it a lot until recently. I, and I finally said, you know, i got to learn how to use this thing. But it is called Studio Mode. Okay, Studio Mode is a great thing, and it's uh, something that really is a great tool. I found out that it really helps my stream a lot. I love it. I use it now pretty much exclusively. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you how you use it. All right, so studio mode, you get in it by pressing this button right here, okay? And what you have is you have two displays. You have your left display that is your preview. You have your right display, which is your live, okay? This is your live scene. This is your preview scene, okay? Now, the great thing about your preview scene, your preview scene is fully editable while you're streaming, okay? So you can stream this live scene you can go in and edit your preview without your stream seeing any edits. Okay, so that's a great thing, right? Because before, you know, if you were to go say, well, I need to get rid of this off of my scene. Well, then your stream's watching you change stuff. Okay, well, now they don't have to. In studio mode, you can go change all the stuff to the left. They won't even know. Uh, so what I do is, you know, I have a couple different things I use, like this screen here, for instance, is my intro uh, scene whenever I start my stream. This is what I bring up. It'll have my webcam here. It'll have another, I have, a, you know, two webcams. I'll have the other webcam right there, which is kind of showing like a shot over my uh, right shoulder. And then I'll have a chat box right here in this bigger one, okay? The chat box is really nice, and, you know, there is a tutorial specific on how to set that up, and you can check that out in my OBS Studio playlist. All right, so anyway, so I'll have that, right? Well, that'll be what I bring up first. So I'll have this live, right? And then I'll go ahead and have my game scene standing by so that when I bring the game up and I'm ready to, you know, send that to my live stream, well, then all I have to do is hit that transition button. And it sends it right over. And now, this is now my live scene, okay? This is now a preview. So say, okay, now I don't want to show that again. I want to show something else. Say I have, you know, say this is just some arbitrary screen that I want to show my screen. Say I wanted to br bring up a web page or something, so I use the browser source and bring up a web page that people can see or a window capture or something like that. Well, you can go ahead and set that up. You can go ahead and you can do the whole scene right here, okay? You can build it while you're streaming, okay? And then when you're ready, you just send that over. And now that scene is live. And now you have a new preview scene that you can now edit. So this is a really good thing. Let me show you how I personally use it other than what I just said. Okay, so say for instance, let's get my, this is my game scene. I'll have my webcam here. Now notice I only have one frame for my webcam. I have two webcams. Okay, so what I do is I will duplicate this scene down here, so I'll have multiple scenes down here of the same thing. The only difference being is that instead of having my front webcam which shows me face on, I have my over the shoulder webcam that shows my computer disk. Okay, so what I'll do is I will have the scene with my webcam here, my face cam, okay? And then, uh, you know, every five minutes or so, I'll just reach over to my live, my, uh, live stream computer, uh, my stream rig, and I'll hit the transition. And I will bring up, and just bear with me, I'll bring this up. Now, this, and just think it's sort of granted, it would be the same scene, except the only change now is that over-the-shoulder cam is now in the same spot that the other cam. So, in effect, all you see that really changes on the outside, you know, for the person viewing my live stream, is you only see the camera change. You don't really see everything change. Um, you just see the camera change over. And so that's how I use the studio mode for one thing. And then again, like I said before, I use my intro and my outro screen when I'm, you know, starting and when I'm uh, shutting down my stream, I'll bring my webcam up in big mode, talk to my viewers and say, thank you for watching, you know, and follow, subscribe, blah, 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 you know, all that stuff. And the last thing that I thought about using i was like man you know what you could use this for the podcast too now i do we do a podcast drmb podcast okay and that's what this screen right here is this is my actual drmb podcast screen this is what we have you know i'll have a skype window up with three cameras four cameras and then i'll you know crop i'll make three of those three of those window captures and i'll crop each of them down to just the different uh webcams and then i'll slide those in these little frames here and so what i can do is i can uh start 
with an opening video to the live stream, you know, patching audio, that sort of stuff, and it's playing. You just can't hear it. Uh, but it is playing, and I could transition right into my other scene where I have my webcams. And so that is another instance where you can use a studio mode to your advantage. I know a lot of people that live stream have these different little intro videos, outro videos, uh, you know, and that's where the studio mode really comes into effect. It really brings a, a new uh, uh, layer to your live stream, you know, it makes it even that much more professional and entertaining, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, that is really uh, studio in a nutshell. Now you, you have a couple different transitions. You can have a cut, okay, which is pretty much a swap, you know, without any fade, or you can set fades. Now you can do a quick transition. You can set a fade, and say you can say this is like this one's three hundred hertz, three hundred uh, milliseconds. So I'll hit enter. Whoop! Why did it not add it? There you go. So now it's added it. And now I have a 300 millisecond fade, which is faster, or I can have a thousand millihertz, a thousand millisecond fade, and it's slower. So I like the slower fade actually, as opposed to having the faster one. But anyway, so that's your transition. Also, this is you would want to have this checked if you want your preview and your uh, live scenes showing up like this. But I always have that checked. It really works out nice. I like the fact that you can edit. Okay, while you're live streaming that's a huge deal but anyway guys that is studio in a nutshell i hope you enjoyed the video please go out there and uh give a like if it helped you out and uh if you want to you know see more of these obs uh studio tutorials please subscribe to my channel i'll be coming out with more and more including uh giving you uh you know news on updates and stuff that they do to the program I'm waiting still for the cropping feature to get fixed. That's something they, they're working on. They said they're they working on it. They're just going through the priorities of getting this, uh, getting other things added. Uh, you know, like the Chroma screen uh, dropper, for instance, they're going to be adding that. You know, there's a lot of other things. But eventually they're going to have the cropping to where it was, you know, like it was an old OBS. Uh, the current way is just brutally painful. It's just painful to use. Anyway, so as, as that stuff comes out, you know, the big stuff that I think a lot of people uh, want to use, um, I'll update that too. But anyway, you guys, I uh, appreciate y'all watching. I hope this helped you out. I'd like to see your uh, comments on how you use this yourself. And uh, anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.